Understanding Place Value Lesson 3.6. We've been working with this box with tens and ones in it a lot. The two is two tens, that's 20. The four is the ones, there's four ones. It's telling us that we have two tens and four ones. We have 24, and it's written like this when we spell it, 24. And we can circle the value of the number in red, the red number. In this number, is the red 4 a 40 or a 4? Which place value is it in? If you said 40, you're correct. It's in the tens place. It means 40. How about this one? Is the 9 90 or a 9? Well, if you said 9, you're correct. It's in the ones place. It means 9 ones. Is the 3 a 30 or just a 3? It's in the ones place, so it means 3 ones, doesn't it? How about this one? Is this 3 a 30 or just a 3? Well, it's in the tens place, so it means 30. If you said 30, you're right. And we can circle the correct number. If we have 4 tens and 1 1, which of these is the correct number for 4 tens and 1 1? If you said this one, you're right. How about this one? Three tens and seven ones. Is it this number or this number? Well, remember, this side is the tens place. So if you said three tens and seven ones is this one, you're right. How about this one? One ten and seven ones. Is it this number or this number? Remember the tens place is right here, and that's the ones place. So if you said this one, you're correct. It's a 17. Now be careful, this one might trick you. It says eight ones and two tens. Ooh, these are in different places, aren't they? In the other problems, the tens came first. See? Now the ones are coming first. So is this the correct number, or is this the correct number? Well, if you said this one, you're correct, because the tens place is always on this side. Even if the words are written in a different order, that's still the tens place, okay? That's still the ones place, and there's eight ones. How about this one? We have five tens and zero ones. Can you tell which number it is? If you said this one, you're right. This one shows five tens and zero ones. How about this one? It says there's one one and nine tens. Can you figure this one out? Is it this number or this number? Remember where the tens place is and the ones place is. If you said this one, you're right. Even though the words are not in the right order, this is still the tens place and that's still the ones place. Okay. Now, do you remember before we talked about estimation? It's about making a smart guess about how many there are. So about how many blueberries are there on this right side right here? If this is about, if this is 10 blueberries, about how many do you think are here? Do you think it's about 12, about 40, or about 100? Well, that's 10. So we could say there's probably about 10, 20, 30, 40. There's about 40, isn't there? If you said about 40, you're correct. 100's too many and 12 is too little. 12 would just be two more than that one, wouldn't it? So there's about 40 blueberries. When we write our numbers for 10, we have one ten zero ones. that's a 10. We have two tens, that's a 20. We have three tens, that's 30. 
We have four tens, that's 40. We have five tens, that's 50. We have six tens, that's 60. We have seven tens, that's 70. We have eight tens, that's 80. We have nine tens, that's 90. And when we have 10 tens, we have 100. We have a new place value. We have the ones, the tens, and then the hundreds. See? So, that is understanding place value. It's very important that you pay attention to if it says ones or tens and what order it's written in. Because you might accidentally write an 82 instead of a 28 because they're not in the regular order, okay? So pay attention to your place values. Remember, on the left is the tens and on the right is the ones, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.